Hello, Mr. Wilford here. Just wanted to go through Chapter 7, Section 2 with you. Uh, this is all about inverses of relations and functions. And uh, this is a little bit of uh, a different kind of section here. We're going to do a little bit different kinds of things uh, with some of these equations, some of these functions. Uh, we're going we're gonna to find what's called an inverse relation or an inverse function. And um, basically an inverse function is when the x's and y values in each ordered pair of the relation are switched. Um, and we're going to use that idea to kind of help us find inverse functions. Now one of the things that you'll want to uh, know about here in this section is that uh, the graph of a function and its inverse are uh, actually reflected across a diagonal line. And that diagonal line is the y equals x line. So uh, some of these um, problems here are pretty pretty basic. What they want you to do is is actually plot these points on a graph. So you'd see the blue uh, points listed here in the graph. And then if you switch all the x's and y's, if you just flip-flop the x's and y's around, uh, you get this red graph here. And you can see that this is the diagonal line y equals x. Um, that diagonal line um, will actually be the reflection line from the blue graph to the red graph. So this is my initial graph and then this is the uh, inverse or the reflected graph. So it has kind of a mirror image across that line. Um, so that's what we're going to look at. Now, when you're finding the inverse of a function or of, of uh, um, an equation, basically there are just uh, a few steps that you, you need to follow. Uh, and here's a good example. Um, it says, first of all, graph this and then write and graph the inverse. So this function here looks like this, y equals 3x plus 6. And then the next step is to switch x's and y's. So wherever you see a y, you put an x. Wherever you see an x, you put a y. Then what you want to do is actually solve for y. So you want to get y by itself. Um, so I would subtract 6 to both sides, divide everything by 3, and I get this new equation here, um, and we're going to actually, uh, instead of setting it equal to y, we're going to use the function notation. Um, this actually indicates the inverse function. So this is my initial function, f of x. This is my inverse function. That's what that represents. And it's this fraction right here, or this, uh, this function. Uh, equation x minus 6 over 3 you can also write it like this as well putting the 3 underneath each term and simplifying it now if you look at the graph and again you can use a graph and calculate it with this uh, the blue graph is the initial first function it's just a regular line the inverse should be symmetrical or I'm sorry it should be a reflection across this y equals x diagonal line um, so when you graph both of these on a graph and calculator you should see that um, and basically that's it for this, uh, this section. Uh, we're talking about inverses of functions. Uh, in section three, what we're going to end up doing is combining uh, the first two sections when we talked about the exponential function and inverse functions. We're going to kind of talk about both of those together and introduce something brand new um, in that section. So hopefully you'll come back for that. If you have any questions with inverses, though, please let me know. Thanks.